One, Who doesn't two, like that music? Three, four. Woo! It's a good four. Man, like, I think I'll take a four. I'll hey, you, you can dance. Can't Not you? on that, you know. You know what I can dance to? You, don't you, want to watch, you need to watch the end of the video we put out this week. Drew shows off. Is that what's in there? <laughs> wow. Is that what's in there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, Jerry. I'm out. I thought this was a G-rated show here, man. I don't even know Is what's going what's on back yeah. there. Yeah, that's that. All right. You know what? <laughs> it's it's that higher ABV that gets you grooving. Woo. <laughs> hey, who we got on, man? Welcome Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh. Thursday, Thursday. It's great to see everybody. We've been on the Welcome. pre-show, Patreon pre-show, talking to uh, Tom <laughs> and Steve. <laughs> yeah, you are a horrible dude. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. right. His wife married him uh, anyway. We have got... <laughs> No, we can't. He made it. Katie, Katie really? made it. Oh, man. Come on. Who woke him up? <laughs> well, after Bob said, you set an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> His wife's cheating. This is, yeah. Anyway, um, I want to see who all's on. What um, you guys drinking tonight? Hopefully, it's something Everybody that goes says through. the resolution seems a little low. Well, it's going to be. It's, it's stream yard, 720p, so I'm not much I can do about it. Okay. Hopefully, it's going to come back. So you don't want to really see all the hair. Really? Face and wrinkles, do you? I mean, come what's on. that about? I don't know. All so right. First time using yards, so we'll we, see what happens. Stream yards. The video's a little glitchy, yards. it says, but that's we, right. we look well, rough in 4K anyway. Like yeah, just have another glass will look better. Yeah. <laughs> so we're <laughs> gonna be blurry anyway. Yeah, <laughs> lots of people in. Man. So it's color the resolution is well enough to see Broder's new haircut. So you know Really? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feet feet is a little out. static. Look um that. I want to scroll all up and see who I was here. Who was the first one on tonight? It wasn't me. It was me. It was uh, Scott for Diamonds. They're always first. Yeah. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Whiskey music. There's like 12 first. people on before we got there. Whiskey music, Jimmy Jazz. Oh, is Jimmy Jazz going to do the. Oh, man. Steve A, um, Telex, Whiskey Music, Rob Schroeder, Scott for Diamonds. I see another in. Mark, Mark uh, J. Cheek. Good uh, deal. Tom. Tom. You need to get rid of that keyboard down there. Oh, right. man. How do I do that? Chad, oh, Bob H. All right. Tom Boom. R, Whiskey Music. Man, those guys are talking. Cartoon Face tried to say something, but then decided not to. Um, so Travis, he, Eric, Jimmy T, S. Wade, uh, KB's in. She was I Whiskey, She Wines. There you go. I've seen those Scott guys Scott from the while. Bayou, Daniel, Travis, KB's again. Malt Minion, Theo See, Birch. Malt there's Minion. Gary's drinking a match. Lock yeah. this. So if you guys are um, catching the replay or – listening to us on our podcast which are by the way are really doing well we're getting like 50 hits uh an episode now so good all right. that's just me if you're listening to it's all shit. <laughs> if you're listening to us you're missing out on the thursday live streams because these guys that join that we're just talking about the right comments now, and stuff it's hilarious yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's great, great show entertaining it's living it's breathing it's awesome stuff we have a good time telex is in the chat and just so you guys know we are going to have telex as a guest in a little while so yep. I'm going to give you guys a preview of what we got going on tonight. We've got the Mac review. We're going to deconstruct this guy. Um, we've got special guest Telex on here mm. in a few minutes. Uh, we've got Jeopardy lined up. And if you're interested in being the contestant on Jeopardy against dun, 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 Telex, he just found out he was going to be. <laughs> he didn't what, know what? That. Exactly. So Telex, get your brain on. Um, and just anybody that's interested, Drew, what do they do? Well, I just kicked it off. Hopefully, the bot will join yeah, here in a second. But it's the same as a normal <laughs> raffle, but this time it's one plus. It's one better. So basically, 11. it goes to eleven. It goes to eleven. You're going to hit the raffle, you know, pound or uh, exclamation point raffle, point raffle, and then you'll be entered into the system and for a chance to play against Telex for Jeopardy and. And if you're the contestant that plays against Telex, a sample of the Mac Classic Cut 2018 for your participation efforts. And just so you know, you better bring your A game because Telex is pretty sharp. Yeah. <laughs> and some of these questions are hard. Right. And you know what? I, I would rather challenge him to questions than like his nose. Oh, uh, no like way. Blind. No, He'd no, kill me no. in a blind. He's good. Like, what, what yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is 
This is Glendronic uh, 12 from, uh, I think it's 2014. Right. Yeah, 2014. March, 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 March. March. March of 2014. Yeah, that's what I know. That's, he's good. So, um, Eric, happy Labor Day to you too, buddy. Um, Eric's got a big anniversary coming up, <laughs> by the way. So, anyway, more. we are also going to launch the next Secret Scotch Swap for oh, the Patreon. So, Wait. tonight that gets opened up. Uh, Michael Porter is going to be managing that for us here this time, and he's already kind of kicked it off on the Discord, so you very well may know this already, but we'll talk about it in a little while. We got Dr. Scotch in the house. We got some Scotch in the news. We got all kinds Dr. of Scotch stuff. Dr. Scotch tonight? I never see that guy. <laughs> he said he's going to be here. How about you always step out. I'm going to wait. I'm gonna Cheers wait to Eric. Right time. Cheers to Eric. Eric. Wheelhouse, baby. Hey, hey, I said that yet tonight. Yeah, actually, and Eric has uh, going live tomorrow night. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. He was going to, and he pushed it off a week because of the holiday and everything. Oh, yeah, okay. I was trying to, to uh, figure out how to be on the show. I, I, I like, love to be a guest on the show, especially when celebrating an anniversary. I mean, uh, we can talk about it next week on your show, Eric, but yep. you've, been, you've been a busy man over the last year. So yep. anyway, guys, let's roll. We, got to, uh, we have a new person Ooh. that discovers Theo Birch discovered us last week. Has watched most of our videos now. Uh oh, wow. We appreciate that. Well, all right, Theo, so, come on, lay it on. Drive so, up the average. So, Theo, we got to talk. You got to ask, who does your palate most align with? Come on. Watch sure. <laughs> That's like shooting fish. Yeah, in a anybody, <laughs> anybody that's watched that many videos, it, their palate has to be mature. They've had some peats. They've loved their peat, the peats. They have you, to. It, it is funny when you, if you spend time <laughs> reading comments, you'll you see the people do align one way or yep. the other. They're aligning with one of our palates, yep. um, and, and that's cool. That's kind of what we expected. Yeah, that's kind of what, that's we, what we wanted. Yeah. Right. Um, we'll anyway, talk about this guy. let's talk about this this guy right here. So. There's this 2017 out there too, and now I really want to get a hold of that bottle to measure it up against this one. Yeah. But I don't know I how hard of a better. I don't know how hard of a feat that's We know a guy. Be. We do know a guy, don't we? Yeah, I think I know a guy on the we East Coast. We do know Coast. a guy. Is he on here? Yeah. Yeah, he was trying He's to. He's got a count in 2017. <laughs> he. Nope. he uh, <laughs> He's trying to talk us into going out and go shark fishing. Yeah, I know oh. he is. He's yeah. trying to wave a carrot. If you guys come on, I'll give you a bottle of that 2017 bottle. We can go catch a shark. <laughs> no, I didn't hear the 2017. I mean, really? Yeah. I guess so, that's cool. Let's let's get back to it. I There was a couple of comments, and I, I, I read them, and I forgot them already. I need to get on my phone and read one of them because there was a specific question that I kind of pushed off until tonight, and I need to find out what that question was. But – to me, this one doesn't have near the the sulfur yeah. intensity. I was say, if you were to get this, if you were to get a glass 12. of this, and you were to nose it and blind, would you think it's Macallan? I would. I do. I do but think I, I would. I don't get the sulfur like Mark does. So to me, it's it's Macallan with an extra kick. It's really. You know what I mean? So much more refined. I exactly. To me, it's, it smells like a about. cleaner version of it's the twelve. A, exactly. Um, and it's it is nice. not age, so it's probably fairly young. I mean, there's probably some, old, there may be some old stuff in there too. So, but why would you put a 15 year old in a? Non how about that? Throw it out there, uh, you guys. Of anybody that knows anything about this bottle that's watching, do you guys have any clue or rumor as to the age of the whiskey that's in it? I, I'm, I'd really be curious to know. I mean, because it, it definitely has a McKellen signature in it. You, come on, there's no way, Andrew. If I, if I put a blindfold on you, and pour this. I, you would you would pull McKellen. You'd have to. It's just it's yeah, obvious. Yeah, because I'm getting a little more sulfur on it tonight than I did when we did the review. But I'm having, but I but I'm looking for it. So when you look for something, you're more likely to to detect it. I'm getting awesomeness. It's all awesome it, in my glass. It's really good. I mean, this is so, uh, probably my arguably my arguably my favorite McKellen with uh, with the potential the edition series have some good ones too. But I, I would say. When I taste a bottle like this, that's kind of not in their normal range of what they do, right? Because mm -hmm. this is a, a much higher ABV. It makes me wish that they did this kind of stuff more often because this is really nice. And you can play with water. You can kind of get it to where it needs to be. Um, I'm still getting some of that caramel corn. I'm not getting the nutty quality that I got yeah. earlier, but it may just be today. I don't know. Yeah, but I, I really like it. When I smelled that, you know buttered pop or the car almost caramel salted popcorn yeah i still get that on the nose 
Yeah. I guess I get a little bit of it. So when I think about how much I like it, I really want to do a blind with it against the 12 and the 12 was the double cask. Is that, yep. I can't, I always mix that up with double cast, double wood because double hand, cask, but it's double cast and, and, and double put cast, it in the lineup cask. just to see where it fits. Cause I honestly, right now, not having those fresh on my palate or fresh in my tongue, you know, my mind, I like this one the best of those, those two. And ironically enough, it's an NAS, yep. but it's the higher ABV that does it. You think it is? Absolutely. I mean, we definitely we have, have become kind of did Andrew just take over your spot? To that, to it. What the That's what? Okay. So, no, I said what did this thing time. score? Do you guys I remember? Three. Was it a solid? Was it mm -hmm. a three all around? Well, well, you gave it a two five, and I gave it a three five. Right, yeah. and that balanced it out. Yeah, yeah. I did. I actually, I'm drinking it again it right you. now. I, I, I'm, really, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I mean, it does have, mm. it does have some of the, a little bit of a funk or Olorosa, Olorosa that I really like. It's not like mm. heavy, super heavy, but you know what? I mean, what was it again? 100 and, yeah, like 110, 120. Like okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not cheap, but it's not also not one of those $300 bottles. Are like, mm. But it's also not 40 ABV either. Yeah, that's well, true. That's exactly to be fair. Right. And if it's on my bar, I, I'm telling you what, this is my in my wheelhouse right now. This is something I'm going to go pour a glass. Of. And and I, the, you know, it, while it may not be my every, every day, or well, I would say that, I mean, this is a this is a glass I could drink every day because it's got enough interesting flavors so, to it that I like it. One of the things, that, one of the comments, and I wanted to call this one out and give props to Travis uh, Faircloth for making the comment. But he, um, during the review, we talked about the. Uh, the maturation slash finishing of, of you know the casks in this and he was uh awesome to put this comment he said mckellen's definition of sherry seasoning quotes is when they use barrels that have aged oloroso for at least 24 months so to me see that's not the definition of seasoning though i well that's mckellen's definition right seasoning is more of uh we're gonna put it in there shake it up make it good and wet and then we're gonna <laughs> 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 open up all right you're gonna, and, and, right. And the thing is when you're making 15 million liters of scotch a year, there's not that much sherry made in the world to do that. Well, they're making the sherry just to just season to do the this. barrels. Yeah, this is most sherry that seasons a barrel doesn't Isn't go for drinking. Doesn't then, go then back they into, dump a into another barrel to season the next barrel. Or they they resell it out to a different bodega that that uh, distills it down and refortifies it into something else. It doesn't go, or it goes into cooking wines. It doesn't go into to drinking wine, or drinking sherry, I should say. Because that that would be a a sherry barrel, right? That's held held sherry for two years. That's not seasoned. That is so, a yeah. Meh. Look, so we got Scott from Test Dummies on. Love to hear your input. I maybe he's given it. I just need to scroll through these comments and and Rob as well. Both of those guys are, are McKellen fanboys, so I want to hear yep. what they have to say. Eric had said that um, he was actually drinking a, a dram of this within the last week or so. So there are some folks, some of the whiskey tubers that have gotten into this bottle too. So speak up, guys, and share what you guys think about it because um, I like this bottle. I mean, absolutely, I love it. That's great. Yep. What was the price point? One ten. One ten. So all right, you know, three out of four. I think that's pretty. Yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's one. So. It's one. If you have the opportunity, put it on your bar because clearly we would have our not bar. If it gets a three or better, it it would be one we'd want to. We might finish this tonight. I don't know. No, it could happen. <laughs> it could happen. That ABV does help, and, and there is a spicy note to it. Damn, that's good, but not over the top. It's all no, but very it's well there. balanced. No, it's it's well done. It's there. Love the classic cut, but haven't had the eighteen bottling yet. Are you serious, Scott? With as much whiskey as you have in your fire wow. hazard of a house. Well, you didn't have time. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll swap you some 2018 for 2017. Yeah. You, you, still know got you know you have uh, too much scotch in your bar when you go, hmm. I haven't had Let me this spend yet. 10 minutes ago. What haven't I had yet? Especially <laughs> when he's a sherry head. You know, you, I did. Yep. All right. Anyway, um, let's keep moving on, guys. We've got uh, – we've got – Dr. Scotch coming up in the, Wait, in, the, got in the news coming up, and we've got in the news coming up, and then we're going to get to Telex, and I'm I'm anxious to get to Telex because I it's been a while since we've seen him. He's kind of been MIA. I'd love to hear what he's been up to, and and kind of off the radar, and get him plugged back in with the old whiskey tube community. And let's do um, this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's move on. Com is on too. Good to see you, sir. Hey, Whiskey's how you doing? Fun. No kidding, man. This guy is a Cheers. mega superstar over there and killing it. Hundred thousand. So. Yeah, Cheers. wow, man, you are okay. tearing it up down okay. south, man. Are, are are there that many Scotch drinkers in South America? I mean, must be. Yeah, 
Good for them. They, they should well, a lot. whiskey I'm, in general. Well, yeah. whiskey. Yeah, I, I'm curious to know what the what the popular scotches are because one of the articles that I read for Scotch you in the can. News. Yep. Really. Are you good for news? One of the yeah. scotches that I read about in Scotch for the News, or oh, it's a company that produces a few different scotches. The scotches they produce aren't. McKellen and you know Glen Donick. It's not the ones that I'm like in love with. They're the yeah. ones that are popular in France. Oh. <laughs> you know, Chivas yeah. is one of yeah. right. Yeah. So I mean, uh, yeah. but White Horse. The, the, the massive oh. amounts that they pump out are crazy. They are crazy. Yeah. Something I wouldn't have expected because I don't spend much time in that. You're supposed to be on location for the news coming up. Well, right? oh, don't we get a break? Tell first. No, we're, we're, gonna, gonna, we're gonna do the news first. Yeah, I got I got a roll. Hey, I'll, I'll be back, guys. Drink. <laughs> get my so, drink. We think this is man Scotch War. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. So while he's gone vacation, um, how was your week? You've been uh, like really crazy um, busy this week. What's going on? With I've you? been out of out of the world. So <laughs> actually, my brother just got in town tonight. He's he's like driving on his way through to Missouri. That's why I was late tonight trying to get get together. So we went and watched Ashton do his uh, band thing, and then. Um, so he's he's hitting the hay because he got up at three o'clock this morning going to work early so he could drive here. So that's fun. Um, work is crazy, but you know that's that's life. And also, you know, trying to do research for this show. It's nuts, man. It's got some really <laughs> smart people out there too. It's hard to yeah. answer some of these questions, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not rocket. Good thing, Doctor. Th this there. question came from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me let's get on with it, boys. Let me go ahead and uh, I think Mark's in location. Let me go ahead and give him a call. Yeah, right? call. All right, let's see what's cool. going on. The hell are you on? Yeah, man. What's up? Hey, man. Hey, you ready for this? Ready for what? Uh, Scotch Air News, you're on location? When? Dude, we're live right now. No, we're not. No, 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 we're not live. Hey, hey, uh, cut it, cut it, cut it. I need about five minutes, dude. Uh, I'll call me back in five. Good evening. Welcome to Scotch in the News. I'm Sean. Tonight, top story is not about Mark. What? That was not what we said. <laughs> so, that was so not, tonight's top story. To <laughs> tonight's top story, for me at least, was uh, our distillery in Virginia that has been having the ongoing dispute yes. with the uh, Scotch Whiskey Association. They came to a uh, a resolution, if you will. Okay. Uh, and it was not at all what I expected. So I kind of want to get you guys' opinion on this. So the distillery agreed not to use the term Highland on their bottles because really? that, that's indicative okay. of, of a Scotch whiskey. It's a region and, you know, they're not going to use it. Fine. Fair enough. But the SWA allowed them to keep the stock on the shelf that still had the Highland name on it. And they're going to let them use the word whiskey without the E. Without the E. Uh, ongoing so they they're allowing them to what? to utilize that i didn't realize, that. I didn't realize you had to get permission to use it without the e. well because the only place in the world that does it that way is scotland, scotland. i thought irish whiskey was without mm -hmm. no, that's, that's what I mean. so you're telling me they're allowing to do it but only on the stock that's on the shelf not going forward correct so the highland part the highland going part. forward but, but they going forward use... they can still use the the whiskey without the e really yeah that kind of, mm. well, I guess there's a few that are starting to use it. Yeah. There, there, that's not true. Mika, I, there there are a whiskey. few. No. Yeah. So there Japan, are a few. Maybe they're too far away. Yeah. They're on the other are, side. Are you really going to confuse Nika with, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know. Uh, what do you put with you put time you got here. Hey, man. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel better. Take care of a little, you little scotch in the hey, news uh, business. What about Highland, man, right? They're going to use whiskey. With <laughs> What's up with that? So when know. you put Virginia on a, on a whiskey, I feel better. you're generally not going to call it scotch because, you know, it's Virginia. There's not scotch in there. I just was shocked. So we reported on this last week or the week before. Yeah, it's I mean, been a few weeks was, ongoing, right. right? And this is now we finally get the details. All we heard, yep. they, they settled. We didn't know what. But now we see the settlement. I'm like... Really? That's how it shook out? I didn't expect. No, I thought I thought the law was coming. You right. know what I mean? And uh, we've got a virtual dram from Whiskey the Six. Oh, 
our favorite Canadian teacher. Thank you. I got his hat on tonight. Oh, Hold on, nice. killer. Hold ten, on. Ten dollar Canadian. That's like what three fifty. Hey man, come on. <laughs> Cheers, probably like, we'll take. Probably like Rob, seven, we'll be yeah. Cheers, happy. Yes, thank, thank you, sir. sir. I hope you're ready for another season of school. I saw you start here in a couple weeks. Oh, or, yeah. No, a couple days. Next should, yeah. Week. yeah. You just yeah. started, man. You've been in school for a month already. Mm. So, other scotch in the news. What's yours? What else? Um, let me get to the article. So Time Magazine had the top 100 places in the world that you should visit. And the top on 100 places. Places, period. Period. By, by Throughout who? the world. Time Magazine. Time Magazine. Time okay. Magazine. All right. Uh, on that list were places like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Uh, That's brand new. Just exactly. Just open yet? Just open. Right. Okay. But they're saying... Do you want to go? Is it is top 100? Why are you arguing? (laughs) (laughs) On that list was the new McAllen distillery. So my question is, and it is a cool distillery. They pumped a ton of money into this thing, right? And it wasn't just a building. Like they built an architectural, like it it stands out, right? So I can see why it's on that list. Uh, But I was kind of curious of all the places in the world. You think that's top 100? What number was it? Uh, I don't know. Did they give they it? They gave it. A, I don't know it, if it, it had an actual list, like right. number. It was, it was just, just on the list, list of right. top 100. Okay. Right. I, I would. I, I would. So, yeah. So, I mean, and, I mean, it's from, won a ton of prizes. So. From an engineering and chemical engineering perspective, that place is designed with style and function, which is usually pretty difficult to do. Right. That it's, it's an architectural masterpiece, yet it's designed to produce 15 million liters of whiskey a year. Right. And so, and so that I, I would say of, it's on my list. That kind of infrastructure yeah. to be able to do that and be able to not just look like a square barn. That, yeah. That's something to see. Yeah, I mean, it's also like going to Lord of the Rings, too. You get to go see the distillery and the Hobbit at the same time. Well, true. We're going to give it the deuces as we're driving by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? We, so we say that. We say uh, it. We, we might be stopping. I don't know. Uh, one thing. So we, we did get another virtual grant from James. Oh, oh, James. What, 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 what? James Brown. Cheers. James Thank you, sir. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Happy Thursday and, night. And also, Tom R. recommends 100 places to visit. Sean's Bar. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you're in Indianapolis, you are welcome to stop by. You can do that. Sean's bar you don't night. even charge tickets. It's a speakeasy. It's it's a, yeah, speakeasy. <laughs> yeah, right. So, so my final real quick scotch in the news. Um, I was reading a couple articles about Brexit. And it's common, man. One yeah. of the things that they were talking about was that uh, scotch exporters – their business for the first half of this year is up like what they say 11% because of people stockpiling scotch in the in EU fear. in fear of in mm. case there's a no deal brexit and they can't get stock so people in the UK are stockpiling like food and medicine people in the EU stockpiling scotch <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take me long, man. I'm good. <laughs> we're, having, we're, having, we're having fun. Don't don't deny that. So uh, we fun. We need to get on to the show. Yeah, let's so, move along so to. We got to get Dr. Scott. Is the doc uh, in I think town? I think he's in town. Let's yeah. do this. Is he ready to go? He should have been here before the news. He's sure. slacking. Right, let's yeah, get we'll him on the see. show. That's yeah. why I wasn't ready. If you guys want to win Scotch for news, you're expecting Scotch in the news. I needed first. that five minutes. Dr. Scott. Okay. Dude, when the when the bill gets in, whatever. Whatever. Right. Cash it. Exactly. Let's bring him in. For real? And we're back. All right. Hey, what's going on? Welcome. Dr. Scott. What's going on? We I got a question for you. Dude. What's that? I want to I want to talk to you this week. You had posed the question after last week's show. Uh, what about scotch interests me? And I am intrigued about still shape and how it affects the flavor of the whiskey. Very much. There's a ton of different shapes. And I mean, I, I think you can, right. I can literally picture distilleries in my head and think Look about the different this. still shapes and how it's many of them talk to them about it. They brag about their still shapes. Oh, Every the, distillery the, does. The still shape is 
the essence of what makes you a new man. And I don't know if this is showing up online. It does actually show up online a little bit. What? All right. So what we have here, what I'm, so those of you that are just listening, I've got a diagram. This is like here. a Ross Perot thing going <laughs> on. Two <laughs> different types of stills. You've got a short, fat still. These are what the kind of stills you'll see at McAllen or Lagoon. Okay. Then you have these little tall stills, ones that have lots of like bulbs and long arms and all these kind of things. Okay. There are two things that occur here, two main things. Um, with the the top of the still, but we're going to start with the bottom of the still because yeah, that has this one looks kind of look, sexy. You got, you got it's got like lace on, on it. Laces. I know. Look so at that shape. There, there's two main main <laughs> styles on the bottom of the still: rounded or conical. The reason you would do a rounded shape is if you dread fire your stills. If you're actually putting fire. <laughs> it, like it does. <laughs> if, if, if you're firing your steel, you want a rounded bottom to distribute that heat over it. But if you're using steam to heat your steel, you can do whatever shape you want. A conical bottom makes it easy to drain out. Good to go. All right. I'm so, a fan of parallelograms. So, can so you the, do one of those? The, the key here, though, is what you really want to worry about is the flavor. Now, the, the, the top of the steel is what changes the flavor. And if you have a short, fat steel, with no, not much copper, you're going to have a lot more sulfur compounds in your whiskey, number one. Okay. Because the actual sulfur that comes out through the whiskey, McAllen, will actually react with the copper. There's an actual chemical reaction that removes that sulfur from the distillate and makes it a lighter, lighter scotch as you okay. pull that sulfur out. Uh, stills like Glamorangi, they have these great big tall stills, lots of Long, copper, lions. lots of copper. So the more copper you have, the more sulfur compounds you take out. That's one component. The other component is the amount of reflux that will occur. So when you have a shorter still, you'll have liquid that will boil. You'll have the vapor come up. It'll hit the wall. These walls are not insulated. Right. So it'll start to it'll cool Condescent. and then it'll start roll back down. And so and each time it does that, it gets a little, it goes a little bit higher each time, but if, and eventually comes out the line arm. I see. So a, as you get more reflux, you get a lighter spirit. You start condensing. So the the what you've got here are kind of the things that come out during the distillation process. Sulfur, that's a reaction with the copper. That's purely copper reaction. Okay. The more copper, better off. Then you get waxes and oils. Those things are essentially high boilers. So those things take more energy to get to boil all the way over. So if you have lots of reflux, those tend to stay in the pot. Those, those will drip back down to the pot. Those come back down. Things like esters, phenols, and fusel, fusel alcohols, those things will have a higher boil light? point. They're going to boil out. So you get a lighter higher spirited um or a lighter whiskey on a tall still now that's if if you keep the same boil rate the same in both these stills heavy whiskey light whiskey basically what it comes down to okay. but you can change that by the rate of your distillation i turn that heat up you can boil it faster if or boil you, it if slower you turn the heat up you can get a heavy whiskey out of this still. Right, because it's going to just steam It's up. just all stripping out. There's, right. there's no reflux allowed. It's putting out so much heat that it just all blows out the top. Just like on here, if you do it really slow and just a very slow boil, you're going to get reflux. You're going to get, you can get a lighter, lighter. Oh, that's, see, I don't have time for that. So that, no, <laughs> see, that's what Talisker does. Talisker has these fairly fat stills, but they boil it slow. And so they get a, a lighter a whiskey out of a short fat still. McAllen? They blow up so what you're saying is size does matter. Doc. Size matters. Absolutely. Whiskey shape, you still heard it shape, first. very important. Um, size we, there's all, there's sorts of other things we can do, but in you the know what? time, still shape matters. Uh, I'm ready to uh, start opening whisk, the Whiskey Music wants to know about uh, the, the cylinder stills with the plates inside, so the uh, continuous still. Those continuous stills are essentially this on steroids. So they've got all sorts of plates, and they do all sorts of intentional reflux. To and, grab stuff and yeah, pull so it back actually, down. They have plates in there, and they uh, they boil the liquid up through the liquid that's in each of those plates, and it's really good at stripping. So well, the beauty of that is you can run it constantly at high volume, and you just get a nice clear So they're strip. basically just making it harder and harder for the distillation. Right. Yes. Yep. They're, they're, they're forcing more reflux. They are forcing reflux. Now, the thing about those is, though, is you can run them really hot, Get high volume production. That's me. And, and and tune in. And you can actually, if you have a really tall still with like twenty plates, you can pull off it at plate fourteen for one whiskey and plate twenty for vodka. 
you know, so you can what happened in Old Pulteney when they thought they were getting this and they had to cut it down to this? <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, damn, it won't fit. Somebody give me the, the saw. <laughs> the saw's all fine. If that's their, um, their beer still or their, their wash still, then it's not a big deal. But if it's their final spirit still, they probably had to slow it down. Very well, I'll be Doc gone. Doc, how about that, you guys? Are you ready to open the with us? We're going to be taking donations for that soon. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Dr. Uh, Scotch, thank you so much. That was very, thanks, Dr. very Scotch. Uh, do me a favor, as you're going down into the dungeon, can you grab Andrew back and bring him up? Yep. I'll see if I see him. I'll, tell him we got Telex coming on next. Oh, Telex is up. Oh, yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'll have to get online. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of good cop. A lot All of right, fun comments. Oh man! <laughs> so you missed Doctor Scott again? Dude did a good job he breaking awesome. down. He's still uh, well, still shapes, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look. I'll Let me to show you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Is it time to bring in our guest? It is yes. time. He's been yeah, waiting in the green room for a long time. Oh. Here he is, Taylor. Alex, Alex, the whiskey. Alex. In the hey house. guys, how you doing? Good. Hey, Good. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Oh, just doing? just laughing. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, the Doctor Scott skit. I, I wasn't around for that first one. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing some crazy stuff lately, man. So. That's good. Though. It's, it's been a while. Big. Yeah, yeah, it's been too too crazy. Sorry that, that the audio is too much. Is uh, is it okay there, Tom? Hopefully, uh, it uh, is mixing okay. Yeah, it's good to see you guys too. It's been a while. Been having a heck of a uh, August was was a rough month for me. What about you guys? <laughs> So where yes. have you been? What's what's been on your plate? You know, I um I was checking out your your channel, and you haven't uh, put out a video in, in a while too. So you've definitely been busy. Is life getting in the way? What's what's been keeping you busy? Well, it was a couple of things. Uh, I had some uh, construction I was in the middle of, uh, and I was trying to work around. You know, you probably saw one of my last videos where I was doing a weird camera angle facing <laughs> this way, and it was it was kind of. A pain in, in the ass to do, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, got through it. What really got me was I was having some um, really bad back spasms all of a sudden. And I, I thought it was a kidney stone. So I went to the hospital and oh my God, dude. went through the whole nine yards and finally figured out it was just a really bad spasm. And it took like, and, I mean, I've, I've been fairly active my entire life and never had the muscle spasm that I can ever remember. And this was so painful that, uh, and in, in nev never experienced anything like it, but I hear that they're common. Uh, have you guys had one anything like that before? I think Drew's actually gotten into it. Well, I have not had spasms. I've just thrown my back out many times. But you know, uh, the best thing I can tell you right now, squatch. Squatch. Yeah. Yeah. It up. Squatch always makes it better. You've got it, a little bit better. make it house. worse. Uh, <laughs> definitely and and i've been uh, it, it was just a lot to, to take on at once where I, I had to go to physical therapy for a couple weeks afterward yeah. and get back in that the groove of things fun. and yeah, it wasn't fun but i've been having some ideas on uh, maybe um as you guys know i kind of went around did a lot of distilleries and you know dipped my toe in pretty much everything i could i could possibly get my hands on and finally um you know i made that realization that all the good stuff seems to be with these really high-end uh, independent bottlers. And I thought, well, you know, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is a great choice. And I, I don't have any buyer's remorse. It's been great. I, I came to a point after, you know, seven, eight bottles, and I was thinking, you know what? All of it's good quality stuff, but is it really, all you know, always in my wheelhouse? No, it's a gamble. And, and it's always a good, you know, thing. But I, I still get drawn to the Lagavulins and the Ardbegs and the Lafroigs and Campbelltown. And it's just where my heart was. I got lucky. I think I, I knew where to go from the beginning and, and, and got really attuned to everything there. And then once I made my way around, I, I find myself coming back to the same region. So I think I'm going to come back and, and mm -hmm. uh, focus on doing a lot of the ones that I, I really appreciate and maybe even giving some ratings for, for overall distilleries, you know, looking at their value, their availability, their age statement offerings and maybe yeah, right. giving like a flat grade and, and keeping track and having people that are live on the show maybe come along with me and give their own take and I'll even average their input into the uh, the score I give and 
and try to come up with something a little different and new. <laughs> it's interesting you're talking about the independent buyers. So I, you know what? It, it is a, an interesting way to look at it and say as good as they can get and they can get good. Now, there's some that, that missed the boat, right? We know that. But let's just say talk about the ones that really hit the mark. You buy an independent buyer and you're like, oh, my God, that was awesome. You still have to step back and ask yourself the question, is that what the master distiller intended for that whiskey when he distilled it? I don't, you know, you can't say it is because he wasn't the one that brought it to market. He wasn't the one that bottled it. He wasn't the one that finished it out. So, or, and I say he, it very well could be she. And, and yeah, amen nowadays, to that nowadays, right? Um, Here's how I look at it. It's like a Christmas tree, right? You're going to decorate your Christmas tree different than I'm going to decorate my Christmas amen. tree. You're still right. the same yeah, tree, right? right? And so I, I think it's kind of the same deal with, with the whiskeys, right? Yeah, I mean, I once you buy that whiskey, I mean, the new make is the new make. And so that is what it is. So what you're talking about is, you know, in the case of like Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, it's their tasting panels grading of that whiskey that it's ready to go versus a master distiller who's trying to fit it into a specific profile. Yes. So it's, you know, it's got to be this 15 year old. This is the profile that I'm kind of looking for. Once it hits right. that, those criteria, then it's going to go in the bottle. Yep. So, you know, it's it's mass production versus a one off cask that's going to have uh, they're all unique and different challenges in, in those two. two Absolutely. But it's I, just a different thing. I find your story interesting, Alex, because it, it happens whether you're doing it from a distillery perspective or just a scotch perspective, or a whiskey or a region. But I think we all go through this, at least in the last four years, I found myself doing it where. I park myself in one region and I really fall in love with a couple of distilleries in that region. And, and then all of a sudden I find myself moving on from it. And like right now, I mean, I, I, a year ago, I, I'd smack my mom for a peated whiskey right now. <laughs> I, you know, I, right, if you pour it, I'll drink it, but I'm not going out of my way right now. I want a sherry bomb, but it's just weird how you, you kind of navigate around and you said you found yourself back to kind of where you started. Well, you Ooh. know what you, you know what you want? You like, you, you know, you appreciate a ball blair. It's like ball blair rarely ever gets it wrong. You, you appreciate a glendronic. They rarely ever get it really wrong. But some of these distilleries, it's like you go and it's a huge crapshoot. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's really rough, man. It's, it's, and, and it's a lot of money involved in the whole, you know, once you're collecting and trying different things. And it can get rough if you, if you, you know, take a gamble on a couple of distilleries and get burned a few times. I know it's yeah, happened to me. <laughs> collecting and you're uh, just buying for drinking you know you spend 200 bucks on a bottle and you bring it home and find out that it's really not your your it's yeah. not hitting your spot and you're like what the hell did i do see that was that's why we started I mean, because you know you go to a whiskey wall in a liquor store and you're like what the where do i right. start let me pull up scotch for dummies oh uh sean like this one yeah i, I like I, I follow sean's flavor profile i'm gonna buy that one right Let's see what's so, up with you. this white walker one thing I do really appreciate about what the independent bottlers give you, though, is the fact that, you know, I, I started off with the Dalmore 15 tonight, just for an example, and it's got a basically good flavor. Is it, you know, something that I'll probably buy again? No, I mean, it's, it's a little it's got some issues with, you know, with it. And we all know what some people think about it and whatnot, yeah. but you know, if I want to get a, a really good Dom war and I don't want to spend the 300 plus to get the King Alexander I know, the, right? 18, I can go and get a Scotch Malt Society, a, a 13 year like this one. And I could be, you know, I could be happy with it. And, and, uh, but after a while, that's when I thought, you know, what, I, I found myself yearning for that Pete from Ardbeg or Lafroig or that Sherry from McAllen or uh, even Blodnock, which is a lowland distillery that a lot of people don't know about. But once you find what you like, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you're bringing it back to McAllen. I will Blodnock. say the one thing that I don't like about the independent bottlers is it's a single cask and when it's gone, it's gone. That's true. So if, if, I'm, if I'm trying this and you guys didn't jump on it, Right. You're out of luck, right. you know, or if I really find a bottle that I, I just fall in love with, once that bottle's gone, that's it. That's all I've got, which is the allure and the drawback of the independent bottle. Right. It, it goes both ways, though. 
have you guys had any of the newer uh I, i've been out of the game for a while and it, when you when you kind of surprised me with the, the jeopardy thing i'm like oh man i'm gonna get my ass kicked tonight <laughs> I've, been, I've been out of the uh you know i've been out of the game for a month or so so I'm, i haven't had time to even brush up on my sherry bets versus hogshead versus all that kind of stuff so no, I'm be screwed. I really did not tell you on purpose i'm like i'm not gonna tell him because if i give this guy a heads up he's gonna crush somebody man. i mean <laughs> We gotta keep it fair, man. No, but it's been a while, so I'm I'm, I'm kind of getting back into it. But like uh, you know, I haven't had the new Lafroy. Uh, the they had the new carriages series for the uh, triple wood. Has anyone had that one yet? Nope. No. No. No, that one I've loved to try to get my hands on. I haven't even look, tried to look for it yet. I'm surprised Andrew hasn't tried it. <laughs> well, getting hold of some of those bottles is a little tricky. Yeah, I mean, we're not in the you know scotch capital of the world here in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm going to roll this dice and fix somebody here. Right Let's do that. Did everybody yeah, sign so, up the one to sign up? Uh, basically, all I had to do was chat, so we're going to see if I can fix somebody all right. play. So here we go. How many people we got on? I don't know. Well, enough I to, to do a Trooper Henry. Jeopardy. Henry is the winner. Of All right. Game. All right. Trooper, 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 Trooper Henry. Henry. Are you ready to play this game against Telex? You're 65 on right now. Actually, we could probably pull you in on the uh, stream yard if you're, if you're willing to use your phone. If we can you, talk yeah. to you. you want to pull your phone you off. You don't have you to can... do video if you don't want to. But, It'll be a lot uh, faster, too. It'll be a lot easier. That'd be cool. Might as well. Do we send an email or what? How, yeah, how, gotta, how, how do we get an invite from? Well, I got to send him an email. So all he's got to do is send me his email address. So, uh, so, so Trooper, send an email to scotch for scotch for dummies at gmail.com. Or if you're in our Discord, I can well, if you want to share. While, while they're doing that, we're going to do something. Discord, yeah. I'll, I'll run that something sounds technical else. and we're not those right. guys. So, um, <laughs> we received four <laughs> gifts from our boys out in New York. I don't know if these came from Bob or KB. They just showed up at my door. Um, they're four flasks. Obviously, you guys can see they're different. One says emergency drinking water. One says cheaper than therapy. The other says holy water. And one says definitely not a flask full of booze. <laughs> so I wanted to bring them over because I didn't think it'd be fair. I just picked one that I liked or not. And I figured, you know what? They're all the same on the back. So we'll flip these upside down. And it's we like will, three card money over here. Exactly. We'll, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll shake them up and we'll just draw <laughs> randomly and whoever gets what gets it. And we'll see what happens. And the next time we go out to New York on a fishing trip with those boys, these will be filled with cast strength. Mark, these are a special hat to do this. <laughs> like those card. Uh, now, now. <laughs> I was shopping for a shoulder holster for my uh, whiskey flasks, and I found one. I'm totally buying one for Christmas. Go for it, buddy. You're up. Have at it. Nah, this man, you pick. No, I shuffled. I can't pick. It's illegal. It, I mean, it was, oh my god, what's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> Inconceivable. <laughs> my ten year old tries to play that one on me. <laughs> Definitely not a flask full of booze. I don't know. Why you would think holy water, baby? What is wrong with cheaper with, than therapy? I'm gonna be therapy. sprinkling this on all of you guys. We're totally getting arrested on the next way trip. Way Inconceivable. <laughs> Emergency drinking water. Baby. Thank you, boys. Thank you, KB, Bob. You guys out there, uh, we love you guys, and you, you never get involved in a land war in Asia. Nope. So, oh no, it's not responding. So we is, have to roll dice again. Is Trooper Henry even on the? Chat anymore. Haven't heard from Trooper him, so. Henry, Trooper Henry, going once, going twice. You got twenty seconds because there's. Wait, well, there he is. Oh, 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 now that's the way to have a perfect evening. All right, all right, Trooper Henry, right, get in here. It's time. Maybe he's delayed or something. Well, while we're, oh, while Bob's we're the one out. that sent him. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> James Brower wants to know what's the best whiskey to drink from a flask. Wow. Let us. Let Cast us drink. <laughs> We'll, we'll go through our uh, our picking a bottle of whiskey for a fishing trip. Yeah, that's not so much a flask question because we, I mean, we take the flask and we just end up drinking out of the bottle. <laughs> that's how so, we roll. So the reason, I, the, what I like, the flask, flask is emergency whiskey. I like a, I like a, <laughs> uh, a powerful whiskey, a peated whiskey, something like that. So you're not, you don't need to have your nose in the glass to get all the aromatics and things. A peated whiskey, you take a sip, boom, there's your flavor. You don't necessarily Good need idea. all that because. When you're drinking it from a flask, number one, arguably it probably shouldn't be a really high-end whiskey because you're not going to get the nose and all the additional flavors. But you want something that has a flavor that when you – because all you're going to get really is the what you get from your mouth. You're not going to get any nose really. Yeah, there's no aromatic to it, not of a flask, no. that's for sure. So you want something strong. 
Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I think the first couple of times I filled up a, a flask, whether I was going golfing or fishing, was just Johnny Walker Black. It was strong yeah. enough to handle it. And I mean, I. And you didn't really care that you were losing something putting it into a flask. Exactly. Right? I mean, because there's, I'm not putting a really nice bottle into a flask. Right. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. Um, what else have I put? I, I have put some some higher end scotch in a flask, but it, I knew it wasn't staying in the flask for long. I didn't fill the flask all the way up. I filled as much as I thought we were going to drink because, I mean, I'll be honest with you, there was like a year and a half goes by and I grab a fishing backpack that I've got and I found it. I was trying to clean out. I pulled the flask. I'm like, oh, damn. And, and I'm like, oh, there's whiskey. And then I took it. I'm like, oh, it's Johnny Walker Black. Fortified with iron. But the so, bottom's eaten out of the flask. It <laughs> couldn't hold it. So did we hear from Trooper Henry? No, but I think we're gonna have a we're gonna have a substitute player, um, and you'll see like, in a second. But this person that's joining is also going to volunteer to offer up the 2018 or 2017 version. I think what, what do you say? 2017. So 2017 how, how will we give this away to then? So I, I say we give the Trooper. He won the role. All right. Okay. So, Trooper, are you there? You, you. He's on. He just not responding to the chat. So well, Trooper basically... needs to get us an address, or we can't send him any stall stuff. So, or maybe what we can do is we'll have Trooper get ours, and then we'll we'll, we'll roll it, have Scott take somebody from the chat for these twenty seventeen or something. We'll All figure right. it out here a little. All right. Bit. All right. So, who's 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 doing the Jeopardy then? It'll be Telex and Scott. Where you going? Oh, oh boy. right on! Oh, right guys. On. All right. Now All right. that is a battle. So, uh oh, did you see Scott like Scotty yeah. too hotty from the test dummies? Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I <laughs> just got nervous. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh. Man, this is like oh. two Jedi's throwing down. I know, right? <laughs> uh, I'm, the, I'm on the Empire side. I gotta be the bad guy. <laughs> Uh, uh, by the way, Tux, I, I have to respect your shirt very. Oh yeah, thanks. With the with the sulfur cobalt, uh, well, I don't know what the C is, like TC is, and then hydrogen. Oh my god, spells out scotch. Technetium, technetium. I think that's how you say. It. I'm not sure. Man, of course, hydrogen at the end. <laughs> I'm hey, that that you most, that. what's going on, buddy? So, right, so, so to join? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm. So what is Scott? What did, uh, what did so wait while we're waiting for Scott to join? Um, so Telex, are you going to be putting out some some content soon? Yeah, I'm going to try to. I, I just started a spreadsheet uh, earlier, trying to um, get an idea of going through the distilleries and putting like uh, I'm going to bring it up here, so just to give you an idea of what I'm rating them at and give kind of like an average grade of, of my own, but plus even give an idea of what, um, you know, other people's input would be that watch the show in real time and uh, give it a grade. But basically um, I'm going to look at it like overall taste, you know, from the distillery uh, consistency. What, what did, are they consistent with their batch offerings uh, and their, you know, core stuff? Uh, what kind of variety do they give? You know, do they just have one, two, you know, uh, possibilities or do they are they like Lafroig where you've got you know a good 30 to 40 off the out of the gate um, age uh, you know how many ages do they offer like overall availability or how easy is it to get like in the a normal liquor store and like a value uh, what does the that distillery uh, value wise you know give you and then take an average of that give an overall grade and uh and somehow factor in the input from the guests and go from there that's that's the plan at least i hate to throw a curveball you right off the bat but i gotta be honest i mean i know you're a pita i know you love the lafroix but when i think of you and i just picture your name in my head honestly i see i see Springbank. I want to see you. I want to throw that curveball at you right off the bat because there's complexity right there. They got three different labels that are three different unique, sure. dist, you know, bottlings, but yet you can still get that distillery flavor in each one of them. So I'd, I'd love to see what you had to say about that because that, there's some uniqueness in there. So you, that's a tall order. I'm, I'm really curious to see how you break this down and how it starts shaking out. It is a bit ambitious. It's probably going to be a little more than I'm thinking for one person to go through, but I got this. I got nothing but time. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, a good hey, thing. Scott. Good to see Hello, you, man. Scott to the show. Uh oh. Hey, Scott. What's up, guys? 
All right. All right. He's, he's got the bottle of of uh, the the night too. I had I already finished mine from Bob H. That gave me I think a twenty. Bob H. Are you still around? Is that a twenty eighteen or twenty seventeen? It's really good though. What do you think, Scott? Is that a classic cut? Yeah. I have not. I haven't had the 2018. I just haven't picked it up yet. It's still around. I think there's still a couple bottles of 2017 around town, yeah, um, which I've had a couple bottles of it. I love it. So yeah, I mean, Scott, they they did make ninety thousand bottles of the 2018. <laughs> the limited, the bottles. limited release, the limited edition, yeah. ninety thousand bottles. You can probably find the 18 around. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually drinking some bourbon though before, so I had to get uh, some out to pour. Oh, <laughs> was, it, uh, all right. was it good bourbon? It's oh my goodness! I hope you guys are ready because this is uh, some good Jeopardy questions here. Um, you can, can you guys see the board? Yeah, done. done. Awesome. Let me uh, right, guys. over here and figure out how I'm going to do this. Oh sherry! <laughs> <laughs> so we have like... barrels. Oh sherry! Who's the dummy? And potent portables. So we had to do potent portables because that's always on Jeffrey. Right? <laughs> right? So, um, how do you guys want to start? Do you want to flip a coin and see who goes first? You know what? Tell us our guest. Tell us is the special first. guest. Tell us goes first. No, no, no. Yeah. That, so, yeah, tell us goes. All right. Um, let's go with uh, oh Sherry for one hundred because I know I know Scott's going to be tough to beat in the Sherry world here. Yeah, I don't know. And, and we're going to tell us be watermelon and then. Scott's the wolf. So he's wanting to knock off the sherry questions before yep. Scott can get to them. So this means fragrant. Means fragrant. As far as can you give me anything else as far as what you're looking uh, for? What word means fragrant? Means fragrant. You. Oh man. Well, when I think of fragrancy, I usually think phenol level for peace. <laughs> so that's kind of a whole different thing. Think sherry. Think uh, I'm, I'm thinking yeah. sherry. So what is your <laughs> what is <laughs> they? <laughs> what does <is, laughs> Sean say? So let me comment. What is they? Oh, uh, I have to pass on this one, guys. I don't know. All right. All right. Is it Oloroso? It is Oloroso. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, thanks, sure. I know I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no minuses. Scott, you're up, buddy. I would I would have missed that one too. So well, it's a hundred. Well, they get harder from here. Great. <laughs> I'll get Spanish. Oh, um, let's go with who's the dummy one hundred. Oh, who's the dummy one hundred? Oldest dummy. Oh man. Of the Scotch. Of the Scotch. Four four dummies. Dummies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. We didn't consider you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, gosh, I don't uh who is Andrew? Uh that is wrong. I have it. Who's the oldest? Oh, oh darn it. Oh, well, I mean, he was kind of oh, old man. He's the oldest. Kind of <laughs> I was going to say Mark, but it was Drew. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> All the maturities behind the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old guys. That's why we're behind the bar. As far as from the camera, you don't see the wrinkles and things. It's yeah. past their bedtime. Let's get on with this. All right, All right. So I'll take uh, Potent Puddles for 100. Whiskey, bitters, and a sugar cube. Oh, man. So this is a mixed drink, I take it. Um, <laughs> Jeez, you guys are killing me. Uh, I don't usually do the mixed drink, but I know my wife does either a Manhattan or an old fashioned a lot. And if I remember, God bless. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the um, go with the old fashioned. Yep. How about that? Sure. Oh, Thank God. <laughs> man gets a hundred. People are uh, giving him tips online. I know everybody. Yeah. Manhattan has. I wasn't been. even looking. I swear to God, I was. Okay. I was guessing it really. <laughs> that that All is right. correct. The, the the Manhattan has removed. Sweet. All right, All right so, Scott, what you got? Scott, you need to you need to bank one here, buddy. I'm going to minimize my checks. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Same with you, Talix. Minimize. I am, yeah. All right. Uh, barrels for a hundred. Ooh, now you're getting into tough shit. <laughs> the largest cask. What is what? a butt? What is a butt? That's far, far from the truth. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, wow. You're right. A tune. Damn. 
Yeah. One I didn't even think about that. That's a big boy right there. But you, How do you, you, don't move think, that? you don't think about it because it's honestly, you know Helicopter? what it's really used for? And if you <laughs> right. think about it, it, it's technically a cask, but it's really used for me. It's a, a Solera type thing. Solera it's really stuff. used more for, for blending it single malts. Yeah, but I mean, it is a cask. That is literally a metric ton, too. 1, yes. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's I would have said the same thing, Scott, so don't feel bad on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I would have said the exact same one. <laughs> is it my turn? Yes. Let's go uh, barrels for 200. You got a chance. Oh, gosh. Smallest cask. Oh. Uh, let me think. Okay. Uh, butt is smaller than a tune. Is hogshead is smaller than a uh, butt. A uh, barrel would be pretty damn small. What's smaller than a barrel? Hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna guess barrel. I don't know if there's anything smaller than that. Is it a <laughs> Can I answer? Sure. Is it a quarter cask? Smaller. Than oh, that. that's right. Quarter Whoa. cask. Damn it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, no. Even worse. Wow. Firkin. Uh, a firkin is for it's smaller than a quarter cask. A quarter cask is 50 liters, which it's a quarter of an American barrel, which is 200 liters. So. What about been doing your research? Of, <laughs> some, some places are using the five gallon barrels, and I, know, I don't know what they call them though. But that's those are for craft cocktails. Yeah, no, though. those are those are actually uh, state detention centers, Department of Corrections. They're called prisons. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those in the toilet. <laughs> Keep them cold. Who's up? Who's up? Telex. It's got its uh, turn. Uh, it was work down the line. Oh, Sherry for 200. A naturally sweet dessert wine. Well, it's a what is a fortified wine. Well, okay, give more more specific. More. More. What type of what sherry type is sherry? That? Well, there's isn't there several fortified sherries? Oloroso is one. Not the sweet one. Not the, it's a sweet sherry. I'm talking too get, much. So, so go yeah. on. All right. Well, I, got I think one. I'm probably out of guess. I mean, I, I would guess PX, but I'm probably out of. Uh, Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, awesome. still. <laughs> Is this am I still good? Yeah. PX would be the next one on my list. Right. You say PX? PX is the definition of you look it up on, on sherrynotes.com and we'll it defines it PX and Oloroso. That's that's yeah. literally the, the first Oloroso. definition right. of PX. Right, Who's, up next? Who's the dummy? 200, please. Hey, you pass her back, man. Get something else. Which dummy is the woodworker? Oh, man. That's uh, I think that's pretty sure that's Andrew because he was the one with the barrels and stuff. Well, uh, Sean was actually the one yeah, right. going on the barrels. <laughs> but Andrew is the one I had a feeling but, I knew that one. We're sitting at the bar that I built. <laughs> well, I, I guess you could accept both answers then, right? <laughs> I tend to have a wood, wood shop in my garage, KB. but what? KB. Oh, run right. right. Scott, what's up? All right. But thanks. Damn, right. Bulls 200, 200, I guess. Then. No. I've been, been drinking oh, high. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. That's fine. All right. NYC cocktail. That's well, that has got to be the uh, penicillin, right? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not right. You're thinking uh, too much. You said it earlier. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh I, I was <laughs> thinking about when we had the penicillin. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Is it Manhattan in New York City? Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, but I was thinking back to when we had the penicillin with John Glazer back then. It was fun. That was good. Think that about was, the category, man. Right so, Alex, these questions were written. Perfect. Not you mind. You guys got some deep thinking going on over there. <laughs> it's too difficult for us. Your turn, Scott. Scott, right. your call. Uh, barrels for 300. What? Oh. The metal ring around a barrel is called what? I got this wrong. Oh, I guess it, it's, if we're doing form of At least you know it's not called a ring because that's used in the ground. I'll tell you what I called it when I was uh, knocking them off with a cold chisel when I was breaking down barrels. <laughs> a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. How <laughs> about a metal band? Do you want to show that? <laughs> yeah. James, James is pretty close. Metal band. <laughs> that's not right. No, that's not not right. It's a hoop. Oh, a hoop. <laughs> it is. It's a hoop. I didn't know that one either, Scott. Don't feel bad. Oh, <laughs> I'll take uh, barrels for four hundred. Oh, 
The number of staves in oh, American man. bourbon barrel. Just average it. Sorry. Right. I don't know. I don't know Jack. I'm not from Louisville, Kentucky, and I still don't know Jack about bourbon. <laughs> Right. Oh my lord! I'm gonna guess if they say 56. I have no idea. God, do you want 56. the steal? Six. <laughs> Scott for the steal. Scott, you got a steal on this? I no, mean, I was gonna guess 55. Okay. I'm thinking 55 gallons. Moose is yeah. close. So, yeah. Let's keep Moose. Is, yeah. Yeah. That was a little overboard. One, one, one got it. Pre Civil War. <laughs> oh, All right. All right. Next. Number five, Jess. Gotta make sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. 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 All right. So. Whose turn? Uh, mine, O'Sherry for 300 Yep. A Spanish wine shop or cellar. Let's go to the friggin' see if anybody gets this. This is not hard, you guys. So this think is, about, you know, <laughs> think about Sherry. Where do you get Sherry? Where do they make Sherry? See, their name, yeah. Everybody else is getting it, you guys. You're thinking too hard. You need to drink more. <laughs> nope. And don't be cheating. So it's made in what Jerez, Spain. Well, a but Spanish wine, wine shop what's or the, what's a, a, cellar. Name, what's a, a uh, wine cellar. What do you call it? A you wino. A <laughs> wino. That would not be correct. <laughs> wow. It's a what is it? Bodega. Bodega. Oh darn. <laughs> Scott's bodega? like, oh, you mean a wine cellar? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like the top. What do you want? Who's turn? Mine? Yep. Uh, who's the dummy 300? The hot, who has the highest average rating? Oh, that's got to be the Scotch whore. That's got to be Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Don't don't count this freaking Oh, thing. no. <laughs> I'm coming for the title. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I got to stick to the easy ones. <laughs> he's, got, he's got 600 up there. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go. Who's the dummy four hundred? So wait, who? No, it's Scott's turn. Scott. Oh, sorry. I didn't, I, 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 if you win, you get a pick. If you get a right, you get a pick. No, that's not how we're doing. Right. We're going back and forth. Barrels for five hundred. Go big. Go big. The angle of the cut edge on an American barrel steak. Yeah, that was a bad choice, there, Scott. Oh. It's mean, really quite simple. Niner, Seven degrees. Niner. Niner. You already know that there's 32 staves in a barrel, 360 degrees per barrel. Well, he did. He Just did, do he, the math. He did give you the math. <laughs> we, you know what? We have a we struggle with math, and we only have to average four numbers. Well, you're talking about 11 percent there. <laughs> Divided by two two staves touching. European or African swallow? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your answer? Six. Oh, he got it. Yeah, he did. He got he, it. He, Bingo, he, he heard that. Oh, man. <laughs> man, I like that about you. He got that mouth on his head. He's a mess. He heard your hand. He said 11. That's good call. <laughs> so I, two. I said, no, I said seven at first and then 11 and then, yeah, half it. Yeah, yeah. It, good, good deal. Here, tell us. All, All right. right. Let's, oh, go, uh, let's go. Let's go point ponables three, please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, God. <laughs> the Scotch version of the Manhattan is called penicillin, I, I guess. I have no idea. <laughs> Don did a video on it. Penicillin is incorrect. It's I don't know this one. Oh, oh, shoot. I should have remembered that one. I do know the drink, yeah, but I, I don't know. guess a rusty nail. Scotch tent? No. <laughs> I should drink more mixed drinks, I guess. <laughs> no, you don't need to drink more. <laughs> oh, Sherry for 400 Uh oh. The process of moving barrel from barrel, moving sherry from barrel to an older barrel and bottling from the oldest in the line. So you're moving sherry from a barrel to an older barrel and then you bottle it from the. This is a very system old line. system technique that is used specifically for, for sherry wines. Yep. And it, there's a, a name for it. And actually, the name is carried over into the scotch industry. Yeah. Um, it's just a little bit different. It's yeah. just. I'm just drawing a blank on it right on the tip of my tongue. So basically, they, they let's say they, they've got a, a, a hundred barrels in a line, and the a number 100 is the oldest barrel. They're going to bottle from number 100. They drain it halfway by bottling, and then they move sherry from each barrel in age to the next one up. So basically, 
the barrel, the, the wine that's coming from barrel one. Solera. Solera system. You got Solera, it. Solera, yep. that's it. Yep. Nice help. But I mean, yeah, I, so and, and Scott, the big money here. This is where we can. In the Scotch the world, it's not the same. In yeah, the Scotch it's world, it's more like a big fat. For, for Scott, there. he's eleven hundred now. It's tough. Five, All right, six, Telex. Six. Come on, Telex. Take bring it home. On. Bring it home, buddy. Let's yeah. do the uh, who's the dummy four hundred. Come on. The most fours. The most fours. Oh man. Most four ratings out of the four dummies. This is a little tougher. Um you guys are usually pretty uh, – no one I, I stands out, but – It's definitely Andrew. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm the Scotch How many peanut whiskeys do we know? That's the thing. It's like I'm, I'm, leaning, I'm leaning towards Mark, but at the same time, huh. Andrew's into something. Andrew's really into it, so he probably <laughs> has given a few fours here and there. But when you guys, when you guys have, have done these a lot, I'm thinking it's just going to be Sean, actually. No. I think Sean appreciates more of a, of a oh, wide spectrum of scotches. Super, huh? I think I was they, number two. Oh, oh. That's true. <laughs> true. So Drew doesn't have the highest average, but he's got the most fours. So he, when he finds a whiskey, <laughs> yeah, he, I love you. I'm <laughs> all in. I should have remembered the Deanston <laughs> episodes. Colin <laughs> George. All right. I should have remembered the Deanston stuff. Whose turn? So oh, Scott, oh, Sherry for 500. We're getting close to the end here. A mysterious lightweight Oloroso. Ooh. Very tough question. Oh, KB will KB. get it. This we, is a KB question. Just... This was honestly inspired by KB. Why is it mysterious? Because it's it's pretty literally it's research, research it because they the, they they can't even deter they can't tell you how it's created. It's almost I know what you're talking about. I got it. What is it? Its initials are PC. Oh That's shit! Yeah. Paulo, Paulo Cortado. Yeah. Yes, if you know what you're talking about. If you know what you're talking about, you know what you're talking about. They, see, yep. they don't wow. even know how it's exactly created. It just happens kind of accidentally. Very nice, Scott. <laughs> I got a, I got a bow to that one. That was, uh, <laughs> that was beyond what I would even. Area fifty one, Jerry. That question, honestly, I, I came up with that question because KB was in Scotland uh, two weeks ago, and he stumbled onto. Um, some Deanstons that are, are that, yeah. and he was very curious. He's like, what the hell is this stuff? So we did a lot of research on it, and it is, it's kind of weird. It's unexplainable, really. But huh. anyway, good good pull, Scott. Yeah, I tried that. Uh, Aqua Vitae had a bottle of that Deanston, and when we went to Buna Haven mm -hmm. in their distillery, they had Apollo Cortado release, and I was like, give me that one right there. And they said, that's just the empty bottle. We're out of that one. And I was like, oh, oh you're that's shit. The that's same thing right. happened to me when we were at, um, I don't know if it was New York <laughs> or D.C., but I was I was looking at the same bottle. It was, it was Apollo Cortado, and it was a Bunahov, and it didn't have mm. any left. It might have. Uh, was you in New York or in D.C. at the time? There's, so. a, there's actually a couple of stores in, I believe there's one in New York and in California online that have it. That showed if you go to Wine Searcher, but it's 500 bucks. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. Scott's like, and that's when I realized I need bail money. <laughs> I've still debated picking it up. And I think I think it's 15 or 16 years old. No wonder they ran out so fast to that yeah. at the expo. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got like three questions left. Who's up? This is uh, Potables 400, I guess. Breakfast drink on the Emerald Isle. Is that like, like Emerald? Oh, that would be Ireland, I would take it. Yeah, breakfast so drink. I would say a Guinness would be what I would want to have, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say the Irish coffee. The Irish coffee would be correct. Oh, oh man, man. <laughs> I, I, I really didn't think I was being that there. But so, so, I, so when, when you saw it, because you know, so I'd Emerald say Guinness didn't have a D on it, I was thinking like Emerald, like from New Orleans, maybe you'd be like a. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm down for a Guinness for breakfast. I'm just saying. All right, Scott. I'm not looking at anybody. Go home, Scott. Go Potent home. potables for 500. Ooh, mixed drink category. Keeps the doctor oh. away. An ounce a day? Oh, that's not a bad guess, but that's not a mixed we're, drink. I think we talked about it earlier. That, as, that would have to be the penicillin. <laughs> That's no. not a bad guess oh, either, but it? no, it's oh, not. No. It's, it's, it's a not hot body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so but the hottest one is not a bad guess. I'll let you know I'm that right. I would have guessed it. This is, this is the hard one. You're driving me to drink. <laughs> was a late singer in a band while in college. Oh. 
Oh, you know, yeah. the musical one of you guys I thought was Drew. I, I, I know Mark's kind of yeah. done some guitar work in the, the past, the though, singer, too. Keep in mind, the lead singer. Lead singer. Who who oh. actually can sing? Oh, man. It's got to be Drew, man. It's got to be Drew. <laughs> Oh! Oh, <laughs> How you doing? Jesus, <laughs> God, man. So, so the only person that did, wasn't in a band in some portion of their young youth career was this guy. You. Can, can you tell? <laughs> he was a rapper. Right. No, I, I, I did, did like a count. I, I did, I did the break dancing with the cardboard. Yeah, I bet you did. So what's the what's, so, what's the score here? Look, here's the deal. So murder. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for playing, Mark. You guys did audience. awesome. You guys did amazing. So, tell lights, we're going to give your sample of the 2018 two ounces to Trooper Henry. He's got to email us at scotchfordummies uh, at and then Scott, <laughs> you get to pick somebody in the chat. No, I was gonna. I was gonna send it to Trooper Henry as well, so they could yeah. have both. All right, awesome. Double Good up. Thing. Double up for Trooper Henry. Very yeah. cool. um, Actually, I, I want to send a man. This is like um, a grand prize game. Uh, <laughs> tell us, do you have the 18? I, I have to go look. I think it was the 18 that I had. Uh, I already went through the bottle, unfortunately, though. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's That'll what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, it doesn't take me too long. A lot of these are empties back here, unfortunately. Like an excellent addition to our safari. <laughs> now, are you guys sending a one ounce or a two ounce sample? It just the um just like this. The, I guess it's that's two ounce. fifty. Is that two, yeah. two ounce? Yeah, yeah the, like that sample. Two ounce sample. Typically, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if we have one ounce bottles. We have a few, ounce, like two ounce, ounce and a half, give or take. Yeah. But you know what? It all comes down to he needs to get us an address uh, or no salsa. Um. So wrap up. Jeopardy is done. Good participation. I, I came up with the majority of those. Everybody had questions. fun. They learned yeah. something. I feel like everybody learned you did a good something. Job. So, I didn't. Okay. Thank. You. I yeah. was like, man. I, I hope I didn't beat anybody up. I it's, tried not to. They, I mean, they were tough. They were the thing tough. Is that you can't make it too simple. Right. Especially when you have two guys like Telex and Scott. On. So actually, Absolutely. it was appropriate. It was very appropriate for those guys. I mean, I these guys have been on the block. Oh, and, and but I, I also get the fact that you know you're you're put on the spot, right? You're put on the sure. spot, and you're like, uh, I don't know. And then you hear Bodega, and you're like, oh no, shit. Well, obviously, <laughs> exactly. That's how I felt when I thought, like, what the hell? It's always easier when you're in the audience, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it always works. Monday quarterbacking, baby. Oh yeah. I got so what, what's coming up? Anything? So we've got a couple more things to do. We have two more things uh, to do. We we are going to launch the sign up for the secret scotch swap for our patrons tonight. Um, we've been talking about it on our patron discord. It is open. Michael Porter, um, Sunday evening I'm scotch managing it, yeah. is managing it. The spreadsheet is out there. If you are interested, if you are a patron and you are interested in signing up, do so. So basically what, what does that involve? what's yeah. it involved? So um, I put a, a, a questionnaire out on discord a couple days ago, just to, with five different see. options to see what you guys really wanted different you know, what, what are we going to try to accomplish out of this round? And, and everybody kind of wanted to go back to the way the first round was, which was we will do a blind draw between everyone that signs up. And when you sign up, you also put your preference, what you're into when it comes to scotch, whether it's sherry bombs or peat heads, or, or maybe you, you, you know, you want some islands or, or lows, or whatever it is, Campbelltown, you put in there what your preference is. And then whoever draws you is going to, Get send three samples that they think you'll appreciate and enjoy. Hopefully, they push your boundaries a little bit. That's kind of the goal is to experiment and, and get outside your you know your comfort zone a little bit. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. It, it's what that so person prefer, pre prefers. So we're gonna leave the sign up open for two weeks. Um, after right, two today. weeks, we're gonna shut it down and we're gonna take that spreadsheet. We'll do a quick live where we shake it up and we find out who's drawn who. And then we'll keep that open for one month where everybody has an opportunity to send their three samples, these little two ounce samples, just like this, three samples to the person that they picked. And then we will schedule a private patron uh, Skype. Skype where we all go through and talk about. Which our, was a our, ton of fun. That was so much fun because you're getting whiskey from another person that has whiskeys for a certain reason that's completely different than your reason. Mm -hmm. And so their whiskeys are just 
I gotta be honest. I, I it sounds weird. I, I don't know. I can't believe I said. I honestly enjoyed pouring whiskeys to share more than anything. I I mean, and I'm pretty stingy with my whiskey. Everybody is, but when you go to pour it, you're just like, man, they have no idea well, what they're getting. And right? you're, I'm gonna blow their and, mind. And you're man. sharing with somebody that is gonna get it, right? right? Like exactly. that's the fun part. It's not some dude that's never had scotch before that's coming to your bar and is like, tell me about mm -hmm. scotch. And and so you're pouring stuff that they won't even understand. You're pouring stuff for people that are going to appreciate right. it. They're going to get it. It's going to open up different avenues for them. It's a lot of fun. It really is. So you know who uh, is a patron of ours that should participate because he has a ton of scotch. Is Scott. Uh, Scott should be participating. He needs to sign up. So um, you know what? Is Michael Porter is Sunday Evening Scotch uh, in a chat? Night, no. Um, so the let's let's get Scott a chance to talk. Okay, he's pouring that that McCall. Yep. Yes, you are. Um, I think I'm still here. I don't know if they are or not. See that or I got out. I was pouring. This is the sample right here. My McAllen 27. There they are. They're back. Yeah, I, I was giving you a full screen, man. You you take okay. over and tell us what's going on. Yeah, uh, so that's the sample right there. Two ounces, 2017 of the McAllen Classic Cut. Uh, our end here for the Scotch Test Dummies, not too much going on. We've really just been kind of uh, summer slump. Uh, we got the 12 hours of boom knocked out. We had our trip to Ireland and Scotland and uh, just waiting for uh, the fall, winter to come around and start picking up some business. Awesome. Yeah, you guys are killing it, man. You, I, I, was, I followed that trip to Scotland. Oh, and, awesome. I mean... I, I don't want to sound like I'm just some jealous. I, I was envy. I watched it and I was like, I just want to be. I want to be there. I, I want to be in. Involved you should be on the bus with us next year, man. I, I mean, you know what it's like to be there now, Scott. And tell me, it wasn't special. Just, I mean, literally, just being there is is awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, definitely what helped was Waterford paying our way to Ireland. Yeah, uh, probably made that. If made if if that hadn't happened, we we wouldn't have been there. So that made that trip possible. So, I mean, that saved, you know, round trip airfare for two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy, right? But, so. but I mean, yeah. you guys pulled off a hell of a trip and you guys, it, it, you documented the shit out of it, which was great. You guys really captured it. Um, it was awesome that Roy pitched in and was there with you guys along the way. Uh, I mean, the car was awesome. The car, it, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> great, great, great time, man. Can't, can't get any better than that. So what else is going on in the in the future? What do you guys got coming up here in the next you know couple months? No, uh, that's what I say. Not too much going on in October. We'll be down in Austin with the Whiskey Tribe down there uh, with their second annual uh, show. Several other uh, YouTubers are going to be down there. I know Whiskey Crusaders is going to be there. Mash and Drum, uh, Eric Waite, uh, Whiskey Dick, Aqua Vitae, and No Nonsense Whiskey are coming across the pond for it and probably a couple of others so really that's the only thing on our books right now that's not a bad thing i mean it's, it's not not, not bad to actually be able to take a breath right yeah what's that <laughs> yeah, well you know just like you guys i mean we all have full-time jobs i mean we do yeah. this on the side yeah yeah exactly. we're not yeah. making money doing this yeah i mean <laughs> you got to balance it out full-time jobs and and kids in high school that are involved right yeah. whether it's band or, or sport or three you next yeah. thing you know i mean it is what it is and, but that's life and we're, we're having a good time too so so scott I, hang out for a second we're gonna go tell yeah. real quick tell x you the man thank you so much for joining tonight it was a lot of fun good seeing you what, what do you have coming up well, I appreciate it. I was going to ask Scott a quick, a quick question. Uh, it, sure. you, you guys might be able to answer if you can't. When is that uh, that get together, Scott? I want to say October twelfth. Got to keep a little bit. That is that like an invite thing, or is it like an open to the public, or do you know? Uh, they sold tickets. Uh, oh, to the okay. Show. They had opened it up at one point for other uh, YouTubers, whiskey tubers, to sign up to go. Oh, okay. And I don't know what's going on. Th if they're done with that or not yet. Yeah. It's the weekend of the 12th. Yeah. Um, my birthday's the 14th. So I thought that'd be a kind of a cool place to go <laughs> to see you guys finally, but I'll, I'll have to see if I can, uh, Oh, they sold out months ago. Never mind. from Stevie was saying that. They sold oh, I whiskey, she, I whiskey, she wines, Bobby and Sam's going down there. I forgot about them. They'll be there. Uh, looks like uh, Lee might be going too. Is that, you know, tell X, I would reach out to him if you think you have the, the, the capability, the, you yeah, know, the, the, the bandwidth and you can make it there. I mean, I hate to say it, but 
we're not going because aren't literally the four of us don't have the bandwidth to make it. I mean, it, 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 yeah, yeah, our kids are on fall break. That might it just it's <laughs> damn it's impossible. I mean, it's, it's tough. We, yeah, we sliced and diced it and tried to freaking draw short straws and say who was going to freaking have to tell their wife that they're going. Yeah. Right. Wait till the kids are <laughs> wasn't going to be me out of high school and then they will make it. Yeah. <laughs> I might email D Daniel just to see if there's an, an opening or something. It's just kind of an idea. I, I have yeah, to yeah. even talk and about it and sort go down there and rub shoulders with all these tubers, dude. Yeah. 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 No, I appreciate it. Thanks for, for having me on, guys. It's been fun as always, and always good to see you, Scott. I, I, I'm I'm glad I, when I get a chance to run into you. Hopefully, I get a chance to go to Wichita someday just to say hey. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, let us know. You need to get out there, man. I appreciate you coming on, Tyson. It's really great to see you. I, I kind of missed you, and I'm glad you're doing well. Um, thanks for coming on the show, Scott. Thanks for pulling in impromptu here and, and playing a Jeopardy with us. Yeah, I mean, did well. Awesome. You yeah. did really well. Um, Everybody, reminder on the Scotch Swap, uh, Secret Scotch Swap, you know, the, the sign up is there. Patreon.com. We'll be, com, we'll be yeah, we'll be sending out more uh, Patreon notices uh, literally tomorrow with the sign up sheet, you know, a link to the drive, the Google Drive where you can sign up. But uh, Michael Porter is going to take care and run this down for us. So it's about a four to six week process here, but. It's you guys are going to want to pull me because I'm going to get rid of some wounded zebras it, it, off this I, bar. Everybody <laughs> has fun. Trust me. <laughs> everybody. If you pull me. White Walker is on the way. And maybe the That's CBS nice. guy. I'll beat him up if he does that. <laughs> uh, uh, CBS gotcha. So don't 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 hesitate. I hope the more that I get involved, the, the better. I hope you guys are interested. It's it's really not to, meant to be, you know, a tax on your whiskey on your scotch bar or on your wallet for shipping and if, if that's I the mean, case let us know i mean a few bucks yeah royce is the best whiskey's for sure it, right? it, really, it really is, is. and so, this is a fun fun deal it's exciting sending it and it's exciting getting it. you're like oh shit what is this and then, get? then you have to find time daniel like, no wants time. to know if they're automatically involved in the new swap if they were in the other swap no no you need to sign up again my people are out. right yeah, so there's an active inactive tab if you've already signed yeah. before so you gotta make sure you're staying active and so Michael Porter started the sign up sheet on the Discord two days ago or whatever. I will work with him and put together a communication and send it out to all patrons via email that give you the link to be able to do it in case that's in your in case you're not really involved in the Discord. I get if that. You're not a patron, become a patron because you want to be on. Uh, it's it's a pretty, dollar. Come on. It's, it's pretty cool, dollar. man. We had a good time with it. It's a it, you know, the more people they get involved, it's going to be harder to do the Skype call. Because, I mean, we go round robin. We we kind of give everybody an opportunity to talk about this stuff, talk. you know. <laughs> but it, nope. it's pretty fun because you, you got to find time on your own time to review or, or drink your three samples. And most people, when they send them, they send a little note with, you know, why they sent them. You know, these and are the three I picked. That, that's yeah, more like oh, blind. yeah. Somebody did make a – they made them blind samples. Somebody had some fun with it. Um there's several different, you know, when you're pouring yours, do what you want to do. I mean, have fun with it. I wrote yeah, notes as to where right. where I got the bottles and why I'm sending them. But we are way over time, boys. It yeah, is what yeah, we are. Tell it is going live. He is? Oh, yeah. shit. Show. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, hell, I'm on that. Tell it's right going on. live, baby. All right. I'm Cheers, fine. everybody. I'm going to try with this new system. I have to figure out real fast. But the, thankfully uh, to Drew, it's been pretty easy. Great night. Um, we hope you guys all had fun. Night. We will see you next Thursday. We've got some really good reviews in the bank. Actually, yeah, we I do. think oh, we've got wait. four out there. What? All right, guys. We'll Watch see you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers dummies. Cheers. Both, both you dummies. <laughs> mm.